right, let's see who got our play of the week presented by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. It's Van Meter. They get the interception here, tipped around a little bit, but Porter Dog, it comes down with it for a huge uh, stop there. Pleasantville was starting to move on him, but they shut that down real quick. Heads up play there. Good awareness, really, considering how many times that ball kind of tipped in the air. Uh, so a great, great play there by him. When I played football, the tip drill was <laughs> my favorite drill I, by so by so much, it was so much fun, and yeah, that's why you do it. it pays fun. off right there. Yeah, it's fun to see it uh, play out. And we're going to talk about some of our favorite games of the week from this season. And I'm going to go to week two when I traveled over to West Marshall in Nevada. And if you remember correctly, West Marshall won this game 35-31. Both these teams, since this game, have really kind of set off in the right direction. And this game was a huge rivalry. I remember Nevada kind of downplayed it a little bit, but West Marshall did not hide the fact that they wanted to beat Nevada more than anyone else on their schedule. They said that they slept different the night before, they woke up different the day before, they ate different, and I mean, it paid off. They, they got the, the win against the rival on the road, which is not an easy thing to do. Yeah, I think that was probably one of my favorite previews that you did. Just some of their comments of talking about the rivalry. One of, one of them said his dad was a West Marshall alum that he wouldn't let him come home if they lost. He said that he was joking, but I don't know if I believe him. Maybe halfway joking, but it's good motivation nonetheless. Well, I think my favorite uh, is one you're pretty familiar with. Probably your second favorite uh, was Indianola Norwalk. Going into this game, I think both teams had only lost one game. It was to Lewis Central. Um, so this was a clash of the Titans, really. Um, in Indianola, the, the stars just were shining bright in this game. Uh, but Norwalk, you know, they stepped up to the challenge. But, I mean, Indianola at this point, they, they were probably the hottest they had been all season. In yeah. Yeah, this, this is a big rivalry game. We, we went into that. It was obviously for state implications. We saw that, but it was also Little Hawkeye Conference and Warren County yeah. implications also. And it ended up being, I think, probably, yeah, probably either my favorite or, or second favorite game that I've been to all year. We love the games with the drama and postseason implications, rivalry. It checks all the boxes. That was one of my favorites for sure. Well, let's take a look now at some more tweets from tonight's action. Looks like the this, video. this is a big one. This is from Newton. Looks like they will be making it to the playoffs for the first time since 2014. We did a story on them a few weeks ago about kind of how have they been through some growing pains the last yeah. couple of seasons. But this this year, I think they were about, I think, 6-0. and They were off to one of their best starts in uh, several years. And so it's great to see that paying off for them um, heading into the postseason. Maybe it's just me being naive, but they weren't really on my radar at all coming into the season. Yeah. And they proved everyone me included wrong so congrats to the Newton Cardinals that's that, that's a big accomplishment it Des Moines Hoover heads over to Council Bluffs and they win oh sorry no they lose nine to seven that's a tough one that's yeah tough. That, that's a that's a tough place to drive that's a it's a long drive but low scoring game too yeah. But a good season for the DMPS schools. Yeah, the Huskies are, are on the, the upswing. They have new coach, so they, they're definitely a, a program to, to look out for going forward. Uh, this one is from Waukee Northwest. They got the win over Urbandale. This one got off to a pretty slow start, but uh, the Wolves being able to outlast Urbandale in this one, that's a, that's a good win for them. Yeah, that pretty much locks the Wolves into the playoffs and most likely knocks Urbandale out. It's ah. one of those things. There's only 16 spots right. and yeah, some of them few teams are going to get left out. Yeah, that's the reality of it. Well, the, the Chargers, ACGC, get the win over Trainer. But we were going to talk about our favorite helmets and, and uniforms at some point this season. And just a spoiler, ACGC's uniforms are awesome. They are. They are. I love that. That's our favorite. Well, we got one more tweet here, I believe. Yep, Southeast Polk getting it done. That's it. On the road, 63 to 7. I mean, That's as expected. I don't think we expected any less from Southeast Polk. Yep, another. They're part of the three-headed monster. Yeah. Do not want to play them going into the state. They are just on a mission. And I can't wait to see who comes out on top out of those three. Absolutely. Well, when Friday Night Blitz returns, find out which players' performances earned them this week's game ball.